Hey, what's up, world? It's your boy T Pat, and right now you're checking out HeavyRotationMagazine.com. Lace your boots up, tracks get looped up, but chocolate deluxe gets scooped up. All my pigeons is cooped up. Hi, Shauna Jackson here with Heavy Rotation Magazine, and we're in Barron Studios today here in Houston, Texas, uh, interviewing a new recording artist, and his name is Jay the Great. Sup, sup. So your new album um, is coming out soon, and do you have a name for the album just yet? Yeah, it's called a Jay the Great Experience. Okay, an experience. So why is it an experience? Uh, it's kind of like a, a walkthrough of my life, being that I just came home from prison and shit like that. And um, it's a different experience other than the experience everybody used to in Houston. Being that I'm from Houston, I want to take them on a whole nother experience of music. So. That's why I named it that. Oh, that's nice. So you said you just got home. How long have you been home? Uh, going on two years. Long. Okay. And how long were you there? Five years. That's a long time. What What happened? If you don't mind. Oh, um, I had caught a aggravated robbery case. 2005. I took probation for it. And um, I say 2008. 2008. I had went in. The judge told me I'd only be gone for three weeks because I turned myself in. Three weeks turned into a 10-year sentence. 10 years turned to five years. So I'm still, I still got parole right now. Wow. So, I mean, understanding, you know, the fame monster. And, of course, if you are in this game, you inspire to be famous. You inspire to be successful. Um, along with that comes being a role model. What would you tell somebody you know, going through this, like, how, what did you learn from that experience? Uh, above all, I, I guess the best, the greatest thing that I learned is, uh, is just, you know, you got, you got to find yourself regardless. You know, I, I got lucky actually. I mean, because of, I had, I had enough time to find myself and, you know, in today's world, there's so much shit going on. Some people may, may never find themselves through the distractions, but you got, I had no cell phone, <laughs> None, no, right. no cable. You know what I mean? No music, like nothing. So, above all, man, like, you know yourself. And to know yourself, you have to find yourself. When you're gone, like, all you got is this. So you got to, like, tap into a level of this that you never tapped into for your memory. Because I don't have, we didn't have a recorder, and I can record this beat, boom, 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 boom. All right, I'm going to pull it back up tomorrow. i work back on that tomorrow. So whenever I came up with a new melody, I had to, I had to, like, I literally had to, like, harmonize this shit, like, for two, three days straight. Go to sleep, harmonize it. Wake up real early, like, okay, there it is. And sometimes I lost some. You know, sometimes I lost some too. And it'll come back. It might come back like two months later or whatever. But it's the weirdest thing. It's like, um, it's a word for it. I can't think of the word right now. I forget. But uh, yeah, man, I, it's a mental thing. Right. You do you mean like photographic memory or or? Yeah, but it's yeah something in the lines of that. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Your only audience then at the time would have been your fellow peers, prison mates that were there. How were they supportive? Because um, it's kind of rough, right? Yeah. Oh uh, well. Uh, that's actually, man. That's I think that was like the best part of my experience is that um, the support of them. Like you got dudes in there that's never coming home. Mm. That um, I mean, we all know out here like what music make us feel like. So you can imagine what taking that away from from some people like to get that back. Like by all means, whatever mean that they get it back, it's like to get that back, it's like, God, it's something like you'll cling on to me. I would cling on to a musician. If I didn't have a radio, like, oh damn, like, hey, hey, run that song about the chick, about the shorty who left you, because my girl just left me. <laughs> I need to hear that, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So yeah, man, it's like, you know, they they embrace me, man. Like they then still to this day I have I literally have people that you know if you get caught with a cell phone in prison it's like five to ninety nine like they hanging people for it. Still to this day I have inmates calling me off cell phones in their cell. So wait a minute. They are jeopardizing yeah. their freedom to hear your music. How do you feel like you'll be able to segue that into outside? I mean, because you have a lot of fans. Um how how can you segue that into the the real world? Um, man, I, I just gotta keep. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Like I know it, it's just a matter of time. The reason why those guys loved me is because those guys got to know me through my music. 
I'm still like I'm a very very personal person. So my thing is, if you want to know me, the music is the best way. So, and I, and I see what you're saying. In prison, obviously, you're not going to be having like kumbaya moments. Right. Um, <laughs> you know, like getting to know each other. Um, but if you were telling your story and being in there for five years, I would have to assume that you were also telling their stories. Right. Of course. Uh, okay. For instance, um, in there. Stories is like that's just better than movies, yeah. Because you you hear from the man himself. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so so I'm running down the street and the chopper come and the dogs come in and I'm hiding up under the bushes and you know he's not lying because how how long you got? Oh, shit, <laughs> twenty. Yeah, right. and then and then you know if you hear that story and be like how how long you got? I only got two years. Okay, this nigga lying, but that was a good story though. <laughs> that was a good story though. You know what I'm saying? That was a good story. So, so like uh, the first 48, like for yeah, real. Yeah, that, that the actual people, you know. Then you got drug lords, you know, people that's uh that's been selling selling drugs their whole life. They break operations down. Like I never was a drug lord. I sold drugs, but I ain't never like I ain't gonna sit here and lie and say I've been pushing kilos and shit like that. But to put that in a song, mm -hmm. but to put that in a song, like to let like that's part of my experience, like. You know what I mean? Like, right, and I understand what you're saying because a lot of times, you know, people want you to have, like, say, street cred and be like, oh, I did that, I lived that. But if you can just be a good storyteller and tell those stories thir in a third-party way, they are still, they can still be believable, right? So in the outside world, of course, you've been here back for two years, right? And you've gained a lot of momentum. I mean, you just did the spring break in South Padre Island. I mean, what, you performed in front of like 55,000 people opening up for the likes of J. Cole and 2 Chains and K Camp, right? Um, how are you successful in your social media? Um, just, just being real. You know, I keep it honest at all times, and I interact, you know, because, you know, like I, like I said, like I told my brother, I'm on my phone all day. You know I, mean? I don't know what these other artists are doing, but, you know, every time I see them, I, every time I see them in public, they're on their phones. You know I mean? So I got time for that, and as long as I have time for that, I'm going to interact. So, of course, if someone feels like you're easy access, they're going to love you just that much more. True, and so and that also is how you build your relationship, so you feel like you're successful so if I was somebody listening to you, an artist trying to get out there, you would say interact with your fans and kind of, again, it kind of goes back to the word, that experience, be a part of the experience. Part of the experience, you got to, you really, you got to embrace it. You got to embrace it, man. Like I embrace everything. Like to any, to any artist that's trying to get somewhere, I, I would say embrace who you are and like, you know, whether you're on some weirdo shit or whatever, you know? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like embrace embrace who you are, man, and like and be organic about it. Like everybody look up to somebody at some point in their life. You know what I mean? After, but after a while, like you know, you, you yourself. That's at the end of the day, that's who you look up to. You know I mean? So Jay the Great uh, is a has a very original spelling to it. Um, can you tell us why you chose to spell it that way? Oh yeah, it's uh, it's spelled J D A G R and the number eight. Uh, it's an upgrade. That's that's how I spelled it like that because it's an upgrade. First of all, and um, of course, the eight is significant for a whole lot of reasons. One of the main reasons is um, eight is the uh, the number on the periodic table for oxygen. So. So we breathe you. What? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Jay the Great, you guys. Y'all need this is somebody to watch for. As I said earlier, he is already here. Go find him and. He's someone that interacts with his fans, so support him. Where can we find you? Uh, YouTube, uh, Jay the Great. I got a channel. You can just you can Google Jay the Great. Period. Everything will pop up there. Uh, Instagram is I am Jay the Great. The same spelling. Um, Facebook, Jay the Great. Everything is Jay the Great. And the song you have out right now is called what? Jay the Great. It's a uh, it's actually the intro intro track to this new uh, project I'm working on right now. So y'all check that out video on YouTube, everything. Yeah, anybody see like a pattern here? Jay the Great. Jay the Great. I am Jay the Great. Jay the Great. That'll be so easy for you guys to remember. Check him out. We thank you, thank you, thank you for your time. And I know I'm going to see you again later. And you'll be a big star. You're going to remember me? Of course. You're going to remember Heavy Rotation Magazine? Of course, man. What? You say bye? All right, man. Thank you. <laughs>